Hi everybody and welcome to our channel. Uh, in today's video we gonna do a little walkthrough of the different things you uh, might want to uh, get if you use your flight simulator to help with your uh, actual uh, flying. So again, you know, flight sim is not a substitute for the actual training, but this is something that can really help you to get ahead of the game. Right, so I, I hear a lot of the feedback from from the fi flight instructors where it's the first time the student is flying and uh, they already know how to use the avionics, they know how to make the right calls with the ATC, uh, they know the basics of you know how to fly the plane, which is huge, huge help. And again, a lot of the things uh, which kind of I think get in people in the beginning is ATC, right, communication. You in the busy airspace, there are so many things, and you just uh, getting overwhelmed. And another thing, it's the avionics, right? A lot of new avionics, you need to do a lot of clicking, you know, finding the right menu. So a lot of these things you can do at home. Uh, for the avionics, you know, you can use Flight Sim Builder, you know, G1000 or Gen S530, um, or for ATC, you can use services such as Pilot H which is paid, but uh, if you install Cal, this is really great because a lot of times you will see the real uh, controllers who is actually working um, uh, for, you know, pilot edge and they controlling the sim planes exactly the same way how you would see it in the, in the real world. Uh, but there's also a free option as a bad sim, which is really great and you can even expand it even more. You can become a controller yourself then you'll kind of see how it's done from another side. So it's gonna make you a better pilot as well. So with this being said, uh, we have a little page where we listed kind of what we recommend for, um, you know, student pilots or pilots who wanna use the uh, flight team and complement their training um, and to, to kind of get started with your uh, flight team build. So um, we will go to uh, our uh, flight sim builder web website so here you can see we have you know uh, different products but we'll go to the pages and here we just have one page uh, flight sim simulator getting started guide again we're gonna expand it but here you have the main links which i kind of wanted to use today to go through we'll start with the primary gear so you would need your yoke and the throttle and uh, the best things you can get now uh, maybe not the best, but the best for the money. It's a Honeycomb Products, which is also San Diego local company. So Honeycomb Alpha. Uh, this is the Alpha Yoke, which is great. I'm using it. Uh, you can see it there. Um, and it's $279.99. And uh, it's it's really great uh, yoke. It has uh, different buttons here. You know, it has the trim on the yoke. Feels great. You know, good quality. Uh, great product, uh, 279. So then you need a throttle, and this is something you can also use Honeycomb product, uh, Honeycomb throttle. Yeah, it's a little bit maybe a lot for the GA plane, but the good news, you have a trim wheel here, you have your gear lever, you have your flaps, and you even have the autopilot button. So it's gonna be pretty great too, uh, 279.99. So you get your yoke throttle, you halfway there, so next thing is the avionics, uh, and it really depends on what you're flying. So if you fly with the uh, kind of steam gauges and Gen S530, 430, uh, Flight Sim Builder uh, 530 slash 430, it's a good option. You can actually use it as a 430. It's uh, really easy to flip between the mo uh, modes. You just hold one button and it basically becomes Gen S430. Uh, uh, and again, uh, competitively priced, you know, good reviews. You can kind of go through here and see how people use it. And, you know, you can just put it on the table. And, uh, but it's it's gonna be a huge help because again, you're gonna train at home how you can use 530, you know, you'll program the flight plan. You'll know how the buttons works, um, all of these things you can do at home. And again, once you're in the plane, instead of, you know, figuring out the GPS and, uh, uh, the avionics, you're going to be flying the plane. So definitely, you know, great option. Uh, if you lucky <laughs> to, to fly with the G1000, this is a great option to, to get, 
you know, Flight Sim Builder 2000, which is this unit. Um, and it's again, uh, you'll need two of them, MFD, PFD most likely. Uh, there is a little promo, you get a $50 discount and you probably would need a metal holder like this to come with it so you can mount it. Um, and if you have a limited space on the table, you might wanna get the honeycomb under desk mount where you can use your honeycomb alpha and mount it under the table. So you can put the stand on the table and this is a great setup, it's how I use it as well. All right, so next, the flight simulator, right? So you have now really two options. Uh, it's uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 or X-Plane. You also have a FSX, but uh, I would say this is the two probably mostly used today. Uh, this is the newest one, really great graphics, uh, a lot of development and uh, really great sim. And you have X-Plane, which is, uh, it's been around quite a while, a really great flight model. The avionics gonna work as, you know, as in the real plane. So if you wanna get as close as possible to the real plane, I would say X-Plane, but uh, I, I like FS 2020. It gives you a lot of uh, things what I need, but at the same time, the graphics are beautiful. You know, you fly in and you're just amazed how, how far um, uh, flight team, uh, you know, gone got uh and explain you know they're gonna catch up it's the same thing was with fsx right the next plane came around now flight sim 2020 came around so again the explain is probably gonna have a new version which is gonna be great too so um you know why why choose one have both <laughs> uh, and fly and choose one from you for you for yourself um but msf 2020 make sure you get a deluxe version because it comes with the Steam Gauges 172. If you get a basic version, you're only gonna have 172 with the glass cockpit, with the G1000. So, where again, if you're using G1000, that, that's the version to go, but most likely you'll have 172 with the Steam Gauges or some kind of G5 uh, plus 530 or you know 650 or something like this. Then for ATC options, so the option one, it's a pilot age and I'll update the, the links um, on the page, but this is the Pilot Edge website. So you can join, and as you can see here, now you can see ATC coverage is online. You know, several three people got their ratings. So another cool thing about Pilot Edge is uh, there's intro videos, there's some articles how to get started, but it's also, uh, there is, uh, training course, which is if you go to pilots setting center and go to cat ratings, you will see, you can actually go and complete your cat, uh, different cat flights. So this is all of the VFR flying. You will start with the flying non-towered airports, class B, class Delta. And it's really cool because it explains you a lot of things, how to do, how to plan your flight, what you need to complete, and then you can do it. There's even a video which kind of goes through, you know, the flight. So uh, it's amazing, you know, how how much you can do with, uh, with the pilot, pilot edge. So definitely highly uh, recommend. And there's also instrument uh, training here. So it's I ratings. So once you complete VFR flights, you can do the instrument rating flights. And here you're gonna actually go and fly, uh, you know, your instrument approaches. And it's again, it kind of goes into, a lot of the things you need to know. Again, cool for fun, um, but also if you start training for instrument flying, this is really great because, you know, once uh, there is some, um, you know, kind of like lessons or check rides you can take, but two, you're gonna be flying with the real controllers, so it's gonna be really huge uh, for actual flying in real life. And the option two, it's that sim, it's free, also great, uh, so check it out. Um, then for the flight, bla uh, flight back. So when you fly, you need to know your maps, right? So if you fly in for real, in real life, um, you can use for flight. It's pretty easy to use with, uh, with these two sims. Uh, you just need to set it up and we'll, you know, make a video how to do it. If it's something you're interested, you know, comment below, below. Uh, but you can connect your flight, uh, for flight to the sim 
So when you fly, you will actually see uh, your plane in the kind of where it's in the sim um, on on your flight uh, uh, on for flight, which is really great. And a second option, which I haven't used personally, but I see a lot of flight communities using it's Navigraph. So it's a uh, uh, I don't think it's free, but it's cheaper than for flight. So for flight, it's going to be pricey. I mean, even for pilots, you know, uh, but, <clears throat> but I think, um, if you already have it, or if it's something you're using for flying, then yeah, go get it. But if you, um, if you're just thinking about, you know, getting your private pilot license and you want to train at home for maybe a year using the flight team, you know, look at this option. It's going to be much cheaper. It's some, some, you know, it's pretty similar probably, um, but it's again, it's just not, uh, you know, the, the most updated crafts, not the most updated plates maybe, uh, but again, gonna get you there. Not sure what's the, what's the pricing, uh, products. Yeah. So it's about 10 bucks monthly. So yeah, definitely going to be much cheaper than for flight. Um, all right. So this is your flight black flight back. And the last option that's uh, head tracking, this is more optional, but I like it a lot. Track AR, I think it's a, it's a um, kind of great option. It's just basically this little thing you put on top of your monitor and then you mount it on your headset. And what's great about it, when you move your head left or right, for example, you fly in a plane and you want to see, you know, where's my runway, right? So it will, instead of needed to do it with your stick uh, yoke, right? You're just gonna move your head to the left, to the right. So I have it on my monitor as well. Really like it, you know, not, not that expensive, but uh, still, you know, you probably wanna get this option, the, the clip bundle, because you can put this clip on your, um, on your headset and it works great, 169. And yeah, I've been using it for, for years now, really great. All right, so this is our little getting started guide. And again, this is kind of your main items, which we uh, which we say you would probably want to uh, buy to get, uh, get you started to either help you with your real life training or just if it's something you consider and you want to fly it a little bit more professional in the sim and actually kind of start getting into the real life procedures and uh, you know, but still do it in, in the sim. So um, there's def definitely some other options too, right? So uh, you don't need to buy those, uh, you know, honeycomb yoke and throttle. You can, you know, if you have something already, use it. You can also buy some on eBay or even find locally, uh, or you can go to the other end and uh, buy some super expensive uh, yokes. Uh, you know, I think there are some for a couple thousand dollars with uh, feedback, which is really great. But again, uh, if you, you know, fly in Cessna 172, like, uh, you probably don't need it, you know, the, the shaker and stuff like that. So, uh, <clears throat> you know, that's why we say like, those are probably kind of the, the, the best options at the, at the moment. And, uh, once you, you know, get your yoke, get the avionics, I think this is uh, one thing which really gonna get you to the, that next, um, stage where you're not just flying in the scene, but you're actually thinking about the flight, um, you putting it in the, in the GPS and the avionics, you know, you, you flying procedures and then ATC, I think it's the key. Uh, if you start using something like pilot H or bad sim, you know, you're going to be thinking about how do I file for the, my flight plan? How do I then, um, you know, get my clearance? How do I put it in the, in my avionics? How do I fly the procedure? You know, what are those different things? So you're going to be really flying like a real, uh, pilot, right? And if you transition, um, or start your initial training in real life, this is really going to be helpful because, you know, instead of trying to learn how to find this in the buttons, you, you're going to be, um, uh, focusing on, on, you know, on flying the actual plane and it's going to definitely, you know, make it much more enjoyable as well. And, uh, you know, much faster to progress. So I hope you enjoyed this video. So we're gonna uh, make some more where we would actually, um, um, one thing I want to, want to do is to do some local flights, um, you know, fly from Montgomery, maybe to Carlsbad and, you know, do it all in the sim. 
you know, f uh, I'll put my flight plan in the, uh, in the for flight, I'll file it with the pilot H, I'll put it in my GPS, I'll fly it, and I'll do then the same thing in the real plane, and you will see how close it is. And uh, I actually know it because I've done it before, I just haven't recorded it, but you will be amazed how, how close those um, uh, instructions by ATC and how, um, you know, how, how many of these things gonna look really close because again, that, that's why I just wanted to highlight like how um, this um, uh, flying in the sim is gonna really help you. And uh, this is something I also use. Sometimes I can fly, you know, uh, for a couple of weeks maybe, and I can just, you know, get my sim up and running you know, do some flights, uh, file the pl plan with the pilot edge, and it's it's really, you know, keeping you in the game. So uh, definitely something highly recommend, you know, uh, not only to use it as a training, but also stay active, right? And, uh, you know, fly different flights even before you go in real life. And then when you do it in real life, you already understand, you know, what procedures you're gonna get, how it's gonna look, uh, definitely, you know, will make you a better pilot. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Give us thumbs up, like, uh, subscribe, comment below. Uh, if you want to continue this videos, but uh, give us some feedback. Let let me know what are the things you want to see on this channel. And again, uh, I hope you have a great flight, and we will see you next time.